It's October 24, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org. And you can find my videos and my Fukushima presentations at Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. And so I'm doing a little bit of stuttering because I got hacked this morning. I got a big FU Dana on my major computer and then it crashed and it wouldn't start up. And that's actually headed back towards the factory because I only use that for live streaming. And so there's a good chance whoever done that to us, we might catch them. Should be interesting. So what we got going on is we're going to stream from the laptop today. Uh, this is episode 12 of the Fukushima Meltdowns. And I'm going to try my best to keep these streams going, even though we're going to now run on a little tiny uh, type computer. And just for after. So we're disorganized today. Direct disposal is a better solution for South Carolina's plutonium problem. And so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to cover today's and this week's headlines in each of these episodes at the beginning of it and we'll jump into the Fukushima. Today's going to be a little difficult day uh, because I got to organize this computer uh, in order to accommodate what we were doing before because we were covering you know we have all this data here and we have all these pictures all of that was backed up by the way and I have copies of this actually on, on this computer most of the stuff but I gotta organize it so I can actually find it with the other computer it was only used the one that got hacked and taken down on me this morning and so if that computer doesn't get up and running again on top of that I have to buy that thousand dollar program again because they won't install it on another computer and so if the factory doesn't work it out and figure things out, I might get them to install a hard drive on it. And that way the, the software company will have to allow me to re um, to put the software back on the original computer, see? Anyway, I'll call him up. I'll argue with him. I'll bug him till he does it. And if not, we'll come up with a thousand bucks and we'll stick it on the next computer, I guess. Whatever. But we ain't giving it up, that's for sure. We ain't stopping just because we're getting hacked. Just because I'm demonized constantly on the internet. Last year they took down seven of my computers. So it's not like this has never happened before. It's just I don't have a backup computer anymore. They killed everything good I had last year. And that was the last good computer. And that was a new one from last year. Only got used for streaming. The key witnesses at the hearing was Tom Mason, director of the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee. Head of an independent red team. So everything about this, and he was the guy who spoke directly to uh, Obama's policy, uh, science policy director, which is, he's a crazy man, right? Ernest Monats, is it? Monats? Who cares? Uh, so anyway, 20 to 25 billion dollars, and what they want to do is basically find another way to get rid of it by dumping it into it. A repository. It explains that it is unnecessary to purify the plutonium for disposal. Plutonium is a carcinogenic. Now, normally every day I would show you Dr. Raymond Gilmedy's studies, academic studies during these live streams, but we can't do that till I load. And the software that I'm using to get away with this is a free, and so I can't load up all kinds of stuff on the software. So all I can really do is this desktop presenter. U.S. willing to assist Vietnam in civil nuclear power. We'll just move on because I'm disorganized. I've been at this for four hours. I had to bring that other computer in, drop it off, get a cent off, and then come out and get this up and running and try to finish off episode 12 because as far as I'm concerned, nothing is going to stop me. If there's a way for me to do it, I'm going to keep moving. And it says here, it's struggling. Uh, damn hackers. Uh, so we got a few people in the comment section. Thank you. Well, there's a show right now. Adam's dear. Virginia's dear. And I'm just, I don't know if this is streaming or not. It says I've been streaming for four minutes. I'm going to bring up the page so you might get a burp burp on your end. I'm curious now. I want to see what it looks like if it's streaming, if it's making noises. Oh, yeah, it's streaming. I'll get rid of this because it'll kill the bandwidth. And let's keep going with the stream then. In that case, don't look like anybody's yelling at me saying, Dana, you're not making any sense, blah, blah, blah. And so it should settle down. Let's keep going. 
And so I'd done everything I could this morning to get that stream up and running. I got myself tortured. I got the computer in the shop. It's on its way down. I couldn't pay extra to get a ship quicker and get it. And so we're just going to have to work this out. And I hope this works out. I'll listen to it after, see how the audio and everything came out, how the video came out. U.S. willing to assist Vietnam in civil nuclear power. Has the U.S. got any rights to go to Vietnam ever again? They chemtrailed the sky there for nine years. They contaminated the entire country with Agent Orange. They, the entire coastline is contaminated with Agent Orange. That whole ocean. This stuff was leached out and it came across in the jet streams in North America. They kill all the fishing. They kill all the freshwater industries in Vietnam. They've got millions of deformed children from the Agent Orange. And they want to bring down nuclear into that country. You got any idea... That these people won't give up evil. They will not stop evil at any cost. And then they sit there like there's something that we should covet. Like there's something we should be proud of. They're the biggest traitors to their country. During his visit to Secretary of State, State International Security, Non-Proliferation. Oh yeah, we'll give you all you want, man. All you got to do is do what we tell you. You won't lose a single atom. It'll end up in everybody's lungs and all the animals and all the waterways and the estuaries and all the crops and the foods and the children's playgrounds. NNSA awarded over $11 million to accelerate the development of a domestic isotope for medical applications. So the stuff they're using for chemotherapy and cancer kills you. 2% of the people that gets chemotherapy lives longer than they normally would have, but they don't have any quality of life. And it's, ar it's been argued and argued successfully that it has no purpose outside of killing people. Anything to do with radioactive isotopes, you do not put these in your body. This is why we have terrorist laws. This is why we have nuclear waste sites. This is why there's 2,000 nuclear PR firms that are telling you it's like a banana, that it's like a potato chip, because they don't want you to know what I just told you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so the NNSA is pumping out millions of dollars to murder you with, to make sure they never run out of it. And in the context of that, uh, the land team, Los Alamos National Laboratory, Received an NS administration awards, should be SS, like the whatever, for exceptional work, for exceptional murder, for exceptional deception, for exceptionally twisted and demented and mentally ill and borderline retarded and useless. Use, these are useless feeders, is what you're looking at. These are useless people. These are scumbags. These are the worst things imaginable. Put up on a pedestal because they bought into it. Land tools. Theft raises safety concerns. Well, wait now they're getting all kinds of rewards down there. At the same time, there's hacksaws out there 500 times the acceptable standards. This is an ongoing thing down there. Everything that they... Oh, they got this stuff contaminated. Well, we just bought it. It was brand new. We got trucks and cars and everything else. All we got to get rid of is nuclear waste. And then he steals it and sells it on eBay or puts it out in the community, you know? They're disgusting maggots. But oh, no, you got to give them awards to make them feel like they're important, to make them feel like, you know, so the media, when they put them out there, oh, well, they got the award for that. They got this award for that. But don't mention what they've done in their entire history and what they continue to do. And the fact that they know the isotopes are dangerous. They know they're terrible. They know they're released in everybody's community. They know Fukushima is real. They know all this, and yet they couldn't get a job digging, you know, uh, latrines for the military. They're that dysfunctional. The only thing they can do is murder us. Let's keep going. The tool theft raises safety concerns, I suppose. First new nuclear reactor in two decades began fueling in Tennessee because it's carbon free. Because it's so good. It takes us 20 years just to get the key to turn. It'll take us another year to find out. Now when that starts up, it's releasing 120,000 liters a day into your community after 18 months after it gets its first batch of fuel. It kills its fuel every 18 months and puts it in a storage pool on the roof or somewhere on that site. 
and it boils water continuously for never for the next decade and that water goes into your community from those stacks and that water that's going up those stacks is a million gallons a minute of water being boiled on top of this from your rivers or your ocean so every insect and larvae and small fries and eggs and the billions of creatures in a glass of water per glass of water per billion million gallons a minute is being killed murdered destroyed permanently and then it's mixed in radioactive isotopes from the reactors and from the spent fuel pools and released into your communities. And that's why there's leukemia is way up for children within a 15 mile radius of a nuclear power plant. And there's six times more uh, women's cancer. You're six times more likely to get breast cancer. Well, we're not talking about all the other cancers, but cancer is the last one that show up. There's 1800 autoimmune deficiencies. You can tell I'm wound up today. <laughs> U.S. Air Force activities, five nuclear monitoring squadrons that were decommissioned now are back up to survey North Korea and Iran. They got to have a boogeyman. You got to have a boogeyman. They got North Korea barbarized for 50 years. I mean, there's no way that they, that they're ever going to consider anything but bombing them. It's all about Look, if I keep you and demonize you for 50 years and everybody in the community and the whole world is yelling at you at the same time, is there any way that you can come back from that fall from Greece? And when your whole system now becomes a dictatorship, how are you going to switch it off? And in many senses, they're probably better off anyway. The last thing anybody needs is a democracy in their country where 51% can take away the rights of 49%. But anyway, they brought out this squadron. That was the USS Ronald Reagan down there in Korea. Look at that in the background. This was only a couple of miles off the coast of Fukushima. The plume came straight out there. People were crapping in their pants. People were puking up on the deck in the hallways from radiation poisoning. The distilling dis 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 networks on these boats are sucking the ocean water right up all the radioactive right back into it and they're showering with that and washing with that. There is no filters that can filter out these isotopes that are one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter. So look at one millionth of a meter. Take a meter, a little over three feet, and divide it by one million. Now divide that one million by ten thousand and then one of those is how big these particles are. You can put two million on the head of a needle, you can't see them. But I'm definitely off my game today. I'm really upset. Because to me, this is uh, this is war now. You got into war against me now. To mock me and then crash down my major computer. Put a big sign up on my screen. If you, Dana, and you don't think that there's going to be blowback from that. You don't think that I'm going to work ten times harder now. You don't think that I'm going to have more resolve now. Huh? You got another thing coming, trust me. You've done the wrong thing. Last year I was doing so many other things, killing my computers, I dealt with it. Now I'm going to deal with you because I don't got to go back on the ocean anymore. You switched gears now, trust me. You can't undo what you got done to me now. You pissed me off. You got four hours of rage under my belt right now, yelling at you. Hopefully you're listening. I'm sure you were. I can guarantee you, to the people that don't know any difference, it's game on from here on out. Radiation shielding brick stolen from the DU labs. Security is still an issue. This is the same lab where they were getting awards last week. It's just endless releases, endless fires, endless lies, endless dumping into your streams and your lakes and your estuaries and your ocean from this particular group. They are the people who took 800 pregnant women and injected them told them it was vitamin drinks and vitamin injections, vitamin injections, what they call it. And it was uranium and plutonium and strontium and they killed them. Then they dug up their carcasses and the, and the, the babies that died several years later, dug them up without telling anybody and then grinded up their bones. You know, they burnt them, grinded them up and then put them in a the Geiger counter in a spectrometer. It's just shocking. That whole industry is just disgusting. Emergency plans for Westlake Landfill. 
Everybody's, oh, now it's another 1,000 feet before the fire get to it. You don't think that stuff leached out 20 years ago and is over to the landfill? That's the cover-up, you morons. Who think there's nothing burning down there harmful? Not to the people that, like the hounds of Fukushima or the people that know better, but to all these morons I see out in the comment sections and these stories say, oh, it's just dumped from the garbage site. There's no, there's no radioactive waste here. It's 1,000 feet away. They're one and the same moron. They all run downhill into the same spot, stupid. I gotta watch up because I'll start. I'm so angry today that they done that to me. That's in my face. That they try to intimidate me. That's what that was all about today. Hack my computer, put a big message there, F you Dana, and then kill my computer. And you don't think that I'm gonna you think that's gonna drive me away? You think you're gonna freak me? You think you're gonna intimidate me? You think you're going to harass me or stop me or slow me down? You're dreaming. you got no idea what you just done today. you got no idea the fire you got set under me from here on out. Jeb Bush campaigning in Nevada suggests Texas for potential nuclear dump. Put it anywhere. We don't care where you put it. We don't. Just put it somewhere. Shut up. That's what he's doing. Oh, they won't put it there. Let's put it over here. The whole country is radioactive dumps. The whole country is full of radioactive fuel holding sites, spent rod holding sites. The country got 10,000 abandoned uranium mines throughout it. They're going down there. They're going to gut Australia. And they, and they want to use Australia for their world's nuclear dump. Why not just use Fukushima? Move everybody out of Fukushima to Chernobyl. Chernobyl is nothing. It's a candle compared to Fukushima. You can bring them to Canada. I'm not saying that. You can bring. We got lots of room in Canada for all of Japan. But Canada is not a good spot. You're definitely better off in Chernobyl. Nuclear repository fire shines a light in Nevada waste. Uh, 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 under waste, high cotton. I'll say hi to everybody today that managed to find their way back. I didn't think it was even going to work to tell you the truth. Hi, Solar. Solar, stay angry, Dana. Oh, I am. It's not going to go away. I'm going to have a smoke today. I'm playing. I was rattled. I'll admit that they rattled me, okay? I'm not saying they didn't rattle me. I'm just saying I don't stay rattled for very long. I used to be a ring fighter, I used to do tournaments. Gay cigarettes don't got 7,000 chemicals in it. So shut your pie hole. Just saying. Hey, you're smoking a cigarette. I can't trust anybody who's smoking a fucking cigarette. Well, you're addicted to 7,000 chemicals, you fucking idiots. You're demonizing them instead of trying to help them. You're ostracizing them instead of trying to bring reconciliation to how they were manipulated and given 7,000 chemicals. I was told all my life... You got a headache? Have a fucking cigarette. Got a toothache? Have a cigarette. Don't want to go to work? Have a fucking cigarette. For the first 15 years of my life of smoking. And then since 1996, all of a sudden, the mice in all the tobacco laboratories got cancer from the nicotine. Up to pre-1996, no mice ever got a cancer. But right around the whole fucking planet, they got cancer. And every time I try to have a cigarette with no chemicals in it. The fucking trolls, the pricks that took me down this morning, the internet fucking idiots that are paid to be out there trolling us and trolling me and demonizing me every fucking where on the internet constantly for two years because I dare talk about nuclear. Because I dare say, well, what about that headline? Because I actually provide the documentations when I'm making videos on top of that. Except for today. No, I'm still at it today, though. Still rocking and rolling. I'm back. Nuclear repository fire shines a light on Nevada waste. Anybody don't ever never watched any of these streams before? They're like, I like him. He's crazy. But I'm actually not like this all the time. Okay, I am. I just don't project it out there as much as I used to since we start doing the episodes. Probably not a good one to have the word episode on it. I should take that down and do the morals episode. Call it. Episode 12. 
I don't want all this ratting and screaming and showing up down the road. How can I avoid it? And everybody's like, oh, I got to subscribe, he swore. The Pacific Ocean is dying. Don't care about that because he swore and had a cigarette. Oh, it's okay. Too bad I was going to help out with the Pacific Ocean, Dan. I was going to help get the word out there. I seen you smoking. I heard you swearing. And so I don't care about all the critters in the Pacific Ocean. I only care about my little tiny world that I live in. It's nice and secure for the next year or two till the whole fucking system comes down on your head. And you wish you paid attention. Video shows a blast. A blast. A blast. From the nuclear dump site. From the nuclear waste, a nuclear waste, a nuclear waste dump, a dump. They dumped, they drove trucks in there and ran away and poured dirt on it immediately. They dropped the barrels in there and ran away, come back a week later and plowed it all in. They've been dumping the stuff in there, it's private land, see? No one, no one's allowed to go in and see what they're doing. No one's allowed to go in the home accountable. No one's allowed to say dick, jack, shit. But that community was getting money for every truckload that came in there and they can't find a record of what they brought in there. Oh no, it's just low level waste, Dana. For 70 fucking years. Low level waste, Dana. Say it to me, I'll knock your fucking teeth right down your throat. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about anybody out there. And we're going to have a debate in the future. That's period. I'm having a smoke without 7,000 camera goals. And I better not see anybody's comment there saying anything about it. Authority shut down a 140 mile stretch. A 140 mile stretch. And they told you it was a flood. And now we find out it was radiation. It's just the endless lies. They gotta tell you a lie. They can't tell you the truth. Under any friggin' circumstances. I'll calm down. My house bursts will probably never stop. And um, I can't bring in that outburst because I was supposed to do all this this morning on the big computer with the bling bling and the thousand dollar software and all the fucking stuff I already pre-set up last night and this morning. Just drives me insane. Again. What is this? Eight or nine computers he killed on me now? But this time I'm not taking it no more. This time, this time now you're really getting it. Now I'm going to work twice as hard every day to come out and gut you. I'm telling you right now. You've got no idea what you got done. Now I'll thank you for it later, I'm sure. But right now, I hate your everything nuclear. Everybody nuclear. Anybody that pro-nuclear, I hate you five million times worse than I did before I even woke up this morning. And I hated you. I just poised you people now now I got a hate on for you that ain't gonna go away I'm telling you right now you have really done the wrong thing you, it's okay to go ahead and demonize the shit of me attack me in my home attack me on my own screen slur me on my own screen and kill my computer and laugh at me yeah you got no idea what's coming I can guarantee you I will be a force to reckon with before long because now I'm going full team, full steam. I thought I was full steam right up to now. You got no idea the fire you got lit under me, man. People, nuclear PR firms, Nuclear Waste Informed Consent Act. These are all recent headlines. We'll just meander through it before I start screaming again. I'm so angry. You got no idea. You got no idea what these people got done to me now. So. Basically, they need consent, without consent, to put nuclear waste in your communities. Welcome to the world of nuclear. A U.S. rejected Israel's request for hardware to raid Iranian nuclear facility and cause radioactive fallout into all those communities. That's what happens when you attack a nuclear facility. So, like, the people out there that we're supposed to be helping, like Israel, these are the most despicable people on the planet. Five million refugees, for goodness sakes. Time to stop nursing the nuclear power industry. <laughs> you got no one. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll take that message. I got no issues with that one. I'll, st I'll start that routine for you. <laughs> I won't be nursing them. 
The obstacles to the industry revival will scarcely disappear after the 2015 blah. Just the whole industry, everybody that writes about it in the industry is, is doing it to try to save it. Right? It's in heart attack mode and nobody's going to give a CPR except for the old hacks. Wolf Creek nuclear power plant lacks the staff to test for contamination. They, they, they're never going to find it. They find it all the time but they're never going to tell you. And so they're so sick and demoralized from that and they have so much controversy over that they don't even show up for work anymore. They're getting paid anyway. They don't go in with the Geiger counters looking and reporting. I want to bitch slap somebody so bad today. I want to choke one of these fuckers with my two hands today. Wolf Creek Nuclear Plant lacks the staff. They lacks any common sense. $120,000 a year to do nothing only release it into your communities and give you cancer and suck up the money in their pockets. Because they couldn't get a job anywhere with that kind of money. The average person in America is only getting 50000 a year. These, these cockroaches, these maggots upon society... South Africa Royal Commission, and so I'm right off my game today. Who cares? Nuclear waste dump on Aboriginal land? Really? Really? Is that the. It's just what they've been doing ever since they've been created. There's thousands of nuclear mines in Navajo on native land. They're never going to clean them up. That whole area is nothing but hell. And people don't, people don't understand it because they've been told for seven years like a banana and a potato chip. You gotta end that friggin' law. You gotta deal with these people. You gotta get in their friggin' faces. You gotta hold them accountable. You gotta get right back up and find them and deal with them. Yell at them over and over and over. Every time you lay eyes on them, go find them and yell at them. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to touch them. You don't have to choke them like I wanna do. Just gotta go find them and yell at them. Call them a coward. Call them the cowards. Coward. Fucking banana head. Go fuck yourself, banana head. Go fuck yourself. That's what you say to him. Hey, fuck you, banana head, you piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. That's what you got to do with these people. You go down, you wait for him to come out, and you yell at him. He's a fucking lying sack of shit. You call up the universities, you got their degrees, and you scream at him every day for the rest of your fucking life if that's what it takes to get rid of him. I know what's going to get rid of him in the near future. I can guarantee you, this whole plan is going to get rid of them real soon. They're fucking done. The nuclear industry, done. Illinois Emergency Management Agency still can't find missing radioactive canister. I've been giving everybody awards and a big benefit and $120,000 a year and all the overtime they could ever suffer and we put them on a pedestal. Yeah, they fuck up all the time, but they got no education and the education they got, they can't use it. They're in the nuclear industry. They got the education so they can learn how to lie. Nuclear decommissioning insurance. Stepping into the unknown. Into the unknown. They know. They know everything about it. They know what they're exactly what they're doing all the time. They know how fucking twisted they are. They know how demented they are. It's why I say to you, they'll eat your children. They'll murder your children. They'll rape your children. Because that's what this mentality is. These are fucking evil people. These are the worst criminals imaginable. Serial killers got nothing on them. Mao got nothing on them. Pol Pot got nothing on these fucking creatures. <laughs> Nuclear teeth commissioning is relatively new. And getting insured can be tricky. Can be tricky. Nobody on the fucking planet will insure you. A nuclear plant, let alone decommissioning it. You fucking idiot. Write the real truth for a change. Why October 21st will become known as International Embarrassment Day? Kind of like today for me. <coughs> Screaming like a demon. I'm just so fucking angry at these people. And I got to do so much all the time just to come out and say those words. New Canadian government, Stephen Harper, is gone. I mean, we would have hired a fucking beer bottle at this stage. We would have hired a soup bucket, a shit bucket. We would have hired a piece of paper. We would have hired a dead raccoon on the side of the fucking road just to get rid of Stephen Harper. Kind of like how Americans got Obama to get rid of fucking Bush. 
They booed him right out of the, the White House line. When Obama took the podium, Bush came out, two million people screamed and hurtled insults at him. He stayed on his ranch now for the last 12 fucking years or since he's been out of the presidency, right? Afraid to show his fucking face. And when he does, the whole planet turns on him. There's connotations in them their words. Anyway, they, they claim the little Pillsbury Doughboy, the towel boy for Stephen Harper, the new guy, Justin Trudeau, might derail it. He better fucking derail it. You better fucking derail it, Harper, or little towel boy. Trudeau, you little piece of shit. You should never be there. You shouldn't fucking exist. Report finds radiation exposure not harmful. So the soldiers, the Navy personnel, oh, no, look at bananas. Oh, you get no more radiation than you would from your family would get back where they're to. See, these are the lowest, the absolute lowest forms of life. Larry Williams. The lowest fucking common denominator. Michael Sergio. She look it up. Call him up. Find his fucking phone number. Call him up. And when he answers the phone, say, go fuck yourself, you coward. And send him over to this video. Send him an email. And you go to the video after. And you stop the video where I started that little rant And you click on the video itself. And it'll say copy URL. And you put that in a fucking email. And send it to this prick. Send it to that bald-headed fucking monkey. Yeah, Dana kind of gone over the top. Oh, well. That's the Coastline of Canada documentary from the uh, 1980s. Unfortunately, I can't play the audio, and I haven't got it set up to import it. I'm on another computer. The pricks took down number eight of my computers now and killed another computer on us. And I got no idea how to replace this stuff anymore. I got no idea how to do this anymore. You can donate. At the nuclearproctologist.org, you'll find links below to PayPal, Dana Durnford at hotmail.com. But my, my Jesus, it just keeps fucking, every time we buy something new and we fix something, every time we get something running, they come up and fucking do this shit to us. You just can't keep it up. You can't keep up with it. Direct disposal is better solution for South Carolina's plutonium problem. Didn't we just cover that headline? Hang on. I think we're through it. Yeah, we're through it. All right. Let's get to the good shit. Hawaii. <laughs> Hello, Hawaii. Hello, uranium. Uranium, uranium. Um, let me come over and double check, make sure I'm actually streaming. Make sure everybody's not yelling at me. Dana, you're not fucking streaming. Well, you got my phone number, you can call me if I'm not streaming. Hi, Wiz Kitten, Jimmy Joe, Candace. And Mickey, Solar. And Ricky. Strontium. I'm just saying hi to everybody because I'm fucking so angry today. Starlight. I'm so friggin' sick. Uh, like, I can put up with all the demonization on the internet, okay? I got no problem with that. That, that doesn't mean nothing to me because it's not true. The lies that they're putting out there about me are not true. I don't hide away from anybody. I'm Dana Durnford, nuclearproctologist.org. I'm in Powell River, British Columbia, Canada. My phone number is on my website. I have thousands of videos on the on the internet of, on my site alone of me. I don't got nothing to hide away from. I got a filthy friggin' mouth, but it gets going. But I got nobody that I hide away from. I'll deal with my mouth and the blowback from that. Like a man, I'll stand my fucking ground because I was justified in everything I said. That burn it, burn it, dump it, bury it, put it in products, spray it, Adam. Yeah, Adam. And so Sterling was saying something, but everything is gone. Let's keep going. Oh, uh, woo! Candace says I'm streaming. Strong is streaming. <laughs> let's keep going. So let's burn through these headlines. And I got no idea what time I started this stream. 
Have I been streaming for like a half an hour screaming? For have I been screaming for a half an hour or streaming for a <laughs> or streaming for a half an hour? Dana. <laughs> Looks like I'm screaming, streaming for a half an hour. So I don't have to burn through this shit. Let's keep going. Uh you're eating two thirty four detect in Hawaii, Southern California, in Seattle, from you guessed it, Fuga Shema EPA Red Net. And so he just took down there's 99 of the Geiger counters in the Radnet network for the government that broke out of 150. And they're not going to go check the warranty. They're not going to get the company is not panicking and saying, we're going to replace it for the American people. No, no, no. We're going to take the rest down too because 99 are broken. So why leave the other 50 up? Huh? Because that's a moral thing to do. Because we paid you to do it. We gave you the equipment. We gave you the authority. We gave you the vehicles. We gave you the checks every fucking week to go out and tell us what was there. And instead, you're going to hide it. See, you see, when I boat is 600% above the EPA maximum containment levels, dead people walking. You're getting, that's a dead sentence. A glass of milk for your child there. Tim, hey, there's dead sentence down the road. Cancer takes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, 30 years maybe to show up. Just from a single exposure. How the fuck fast is it going to show up when you're getting it every day? Stop yelling, Dana. Amount of radiation in three gallons of milk in Hawaii surpasses the annual maximum containment levels. You're supposed to put it in a 45-gallon drum and put it on a nuclear waste site instead of all the little Timmies and Sallies are getting there with their GMO cereals in the morning and their aspartame fruit drinks. We live in a sick and twisted and demented and an absolutely coerced society. Top Hawaii health official calls out Forbes journalists for saying anything about nuclear. And then he has to miss he's technically fucked up and wrong. The scientists are interested in learning more about technetium 99. And that's got a 210,000 year half-life. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's not only time 131, then it would half life times 10, which is 80. You don't bother telling you about that because they're evil fucking people. Nuclear scientists, nuclear pro nuclear blogs, nuclear spin doctors, nuclear morons are fucking evil and stupid. The stupidest fucking people you could ever have in your neighborhood or your city or on a TV set or on a blog or on a fucking post is a nuclear apologist, nuclear scientist, nuclear PR firms are the evilest fucking things on the planet. There is nothing else eviler. There, there is no fucking precedence in history of being that evil. There is no single dictator can hold a fucking candle to a nuclear scientist, PR firms, nuclear apologist, fucking damage that they've created. Nuclear is hell. Nuclear is hell on earth. Nuclear is the worst thing imaginable. And strontium milk found in strontium milk if he's in Hawaii. Radioactive strontium found in Hawaii milk. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Love my strontium. Goes right into my bones. It gives me uh, mutated Stem cells in my pelvis, yummy for the rest of me. Hawaii and any children I want to have. Hawaii dairy farmers were sucked in and said, oh, just give them boron, they'll be okay, boy, can't hurt them. Right, so the industry is evil. Instead of saying to the farmer, hey, that's fucking radiated, said, hey, put some of this in there, your potty, potty might help. The farmers need to go lynch those fucking people. They know who they are and made them do it and talked them into doing it and sweet talked them. The farmers in Hawaii should go lynch those people that talked them into putting boron. Whoever the fuck it was, I don't care who it was, they should be fucking lynched and they should be lynched right fucking now. Whoever fucking talked people into doing that rather than doing the moral and ethical thing and stop fucking producing it. They got no right to get away with it. There's hell to pay for what fucking happened to me this morning. I'm telling you right now. The more you attack me, the stronger I'm going to fucking be. It's that simple. I absorb it and I burn it back into everybody's fucking face forever. Tomorrow I won't be swearing. Enjoy it. The U.S. is receiving a steady flow of radiation from Fukushima. The U.S. is receiving a steady flow of radiation 
from Fukushima. What part about that sentence is that you can't wrap your fucking mind around? What part about that sentence is too fucking much for you to absorb? What part about that sentence is it that you can't make a stand about? What part of the sentence there says it's like a banana and a potato chip? It's you've been indoctrinated your whole life by the nuclear machine. Lying, 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 lying. Thanks to the jet stream, the air currents that flow across the Pacific Ocean and the steady flow of radiation in Fukushima Daiichi, they're still out there lying. Oh, there's no military reactors, but if there was, Jay Cullen, that got to fucking go. You got to dethrone that cocksucker. You got to fucking dethrone Ken Buesler. You got to dethrone Woods Hole permanently. You got to end Woods Hole's fucking reign of terror on this planet permanently. That has to go. There is no future as long as these people exist. There is no society as long as these people exist. They are the very fucking foundation of every problem we got. Woods Hole got to go. Plus the, the popular apologists got to be fucking dealt with. They got to be dethroned. They got to be taken down. There's no way around this. They will never leave us alone. They will never fucking give this up to the last two people on the planet. One will be pro nuke. One will be fucking anti fucking nuke. You watch. We don't want to create a panic, but it's good to know the radioactive tsunami debris coming to Hawaii much earlier than predicted. No, they predicted six fucking years. The ocean current at five miles per hour, 24 hours a day, do the math, times 45 days is right across your fucking ocean. Less than 45 days. And it showed up down there October 19, 2011. They reported on it. It was there long before that. Because all they do is lie. They don't know how to do anything real. They got no purpose on the planet. They got no friends. They got nobody that fucking loves them. They got no one they can trust. They don't have a friend on the planet that they can trust. They don't have anybody out there they can confide in. They're evilest fucking things we got on the planet. You know, it comes over from Japan. And then it comes across the ocean to here. Comes all over the ocean from Japan and crush the ocean over there. You don't have to be a fucking genius to work it out. High concentration of radioactive radiation hit the U.S. and Canada. I'm starting to calm down a little bit. A little too late, but whatever. I don't. I couldn't care less. I'm not ashamed for sitting here and screaming in anger because these cocksuckers. These fucking monsters, these fucking disgusting maggots have done everything they can to destroy me. Because I'm the only real true opposition they'll ever fucking have. I'm the only one out there really truly will get in their fucking faces. I'm the only one who really truly will follow through with their fucking words. And they know that. And they don't want me teaching people how to do it. They don't want me educating people. They don't want me talking about it. They don't want that fusion of today's news and then Fukushima mixed together. They don't want that visual that I'm becoming so good at being able to bring. And they can't demonize me and get rid of me. They can't charge me. They can't, they can't get rid of the truth. They can't end the facts. And that destroys them. Every time it just... It's like shining light on a vampire, per se. The, you shine light on a nuclear scientist, or Ken Buesler, or Jay Collin, or Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in particular, and they will wither and die. They will come out and attack you. They will come out and say, We're not bad. We're good people. We're honest. There's a few bad apples in every bunch. I'll fucking strangle you. I'll catch you, any of you. I'll strangle you. I'll tell you right now, I'll strangle anything I catch my hands on. From Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, I will knock your fucking teeth out of your head. You are evil. You are the, the very fucking epitome of what hell is. Japan debris hit BC, warned about radiation. I'm just getting pissed off to every second now. It's not going to get any better tomorrow or the next day now because I'm now I'm pissed. I'm really pissed. You can't switch it off. 
when you when you do stuff like this to people. You can't switch those people off. You're creating the very fucking thing you want to get rid of. By what you're doing to me all the time. By attacking me all the time. By demonizing me all the time. And I, and you got nothing to demonize with. You got to make up fucking lies the whole time about me. I'd show you everything. I'd give you everything. I supply everything. I don't hide away from anybody. Because I don't got nothing to fucking hide. Radioactive plume map shows Fukushima contamination heading towards Hawaii. <laughs> March the 16th. And then America, and then right around the planet every 40 days till the end of time. Endless plumes. It wasn't just a plume, it was endless plumes. It never stopped. That's an ocean model. But it never fucking stopped. That ocean is completely full of radiation. Everything you're seeing. Radioactive plume contam uh, contacted North America, California. The Pacific Gar and the Kurosha currents, they circulate. Right? And then they meet up with these other circulations. And they all run back into the major one. It's a perpetual motion machine. The entire Pacific Ocean is already dying or on its last legs. We've just done 15,000 miles of coastline, 260 days on the friggin' ocean. And we documented it all. The pictures are up at the nuclear proctologist. You know, think, Jesus, I got everything backed up. Oh, just imagine the trouble I'd be into if I didn't have multiple backups and stashes. And they're not even all here. <laughs> I couldn't take that chance because they could burn me out of here. Which is what we got to do with them. We got to burn them the fuck out of there. Fukushima radiation plume contact in North America. The greatest exposure. Now the reason they're talking about that in that context is if you look at dispersals from pollution and I would normally just bring up a peer review study but I got a new computer that I got to figure out how to make useful and I can't even monitor the fucking screen anymore. Because I haven't got my big badass one here. Fuck. And I don't even know how this is going to come out. But everybody's saying it's coming out good. Let's keep going. I'll start yelling in a second. So the pollution from forest fires is a thousands of times bigger than the atoms from Fukushima. And the forest fires all come over here. That pollution, those particles. And you can put two million atoms on a piece of a particle and you probably still can't see the atoms, let alone the particle. Fukushima radiation, radioactive plume contacted the entire planet symmetrically till the end of time because it's perpetually coming out of there. It's constantly coming out of those reactors. It's endlessly going into that atmosphere. Kelp forming, can't be forming kelps, which is like the bull kelps, the 50 footers. Uh, Iodine 131 was uh, at. Um, 40 million Beckwells a kilogram. March the 16th. March 6, 2012. Anyway, oceans may be 50% of the EPA's maximum contamination levels off Hawaii. Let's burn through these because we're going to run out of time 15 minutes to go. Uh, radioactive water to reach Hawaii in two years. No, old researchers said 18 trillion. That's 18 trillion Beckwells, what he's talking about. 18,000 trillion Beckwells. That's enough to give every creature on the planet a cancer. And Alzheimer's, and dementia, and diabetes, and respiratory illnesses. Fukushima contamination ocean reached Alaska in under a month. Yeah, but it's gonna take it's gonna take two years to hit Hawaii. Hey you fucking that stupid. So that's the headlines they come out with to deceive you with. And it hits a Japanese government study. A government study. A government study from Japan. From Japan. You're always saying, oh, I don't see any models from Japan, Dana. Huh? There's a government study from Japan. Fukushima contamination in the ocean reached Alaska in under a month and covered North America within a week from the jet streams. A single plume is deadly. But you don't just drop dead normally. The majority of people won't. Some do. This attacks your heart right away. It attacks your kidneys and your livers right away. And so we've seen some vicious cancers after Fukushima. We've seen some vicious deaths from 20,000 excess heart attacks in America in March and April compared to any other previous year. It spiked as the plume was coming in in the jet stream. 
And folks, I apologize. All my episodes, I'm usually really good. Don't even smoke a cigarette. Don't swear. Occasional words slips out. I apologize. This one, whoa, I am fucking ready to get my hands on something today. Oh, ho, ho. I can tell you there's a few people I wouldn't mind going choking right now. Tsunami debris might be contaminated with radiation. Look, the tsunami debris is offshore. The radiation plumes are coming out, falling on the debris, coming out, falling on the debris, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Even when it's 1,000 miles offshore, the plumes are still coming out through the air, landing on the fucking debris. Everything! 2,000 square miles of debris, 500 miles of coastline, was irradiated. And it's headed this way and everywhere else. And we have huge... Huge operations all around the Canadian coastline clearing up the Fukushima debris. But you can't get a garter counter from the government. We'll give you millions of dollars to go out there and clean it up. And I'm not kidding you. All kinds of people out there making a fortune going out and cleaning up the debris on the coastline of Canada. Getting every garbage bag in those little tiny communities like Hartley Bay and Zabalas. I don't have 7,000 chemicals in my cigarette, so shut your fucking pie hole. Tsunami debris might be contaminated with radiation. Radiation plumes now hit Hawaii. 2012, April 8th. In a year, it'll probably reach the U.S. coast. It reached the coastline in 45 days. The ocean currents are fucking real. Five miles an hour, 24 hours a day, it's right here. We, it keep, the entire coastline of North America is kept warm by the warm waters from, oh, I don't know, Japan. Look it up. Unprecedented phenomenon from using salt water in Fukushima reactors, forming new uranium compounds, able to travel long distances like carbon fucky balls. Yeah, I'm not fit to make a video today. <laughs> I'm really not. That's eight computers now, or nine computers they killed on me in less than a year. In less than a year. How many computers you go through every year, huh? I want to pick shit up here now and throw it across the room. I'm so fucking mad today. Fukushima D at you where nothing can be done except get out of the fucking way. Honestly feel like we're stupid morons waiting around in this shit. It's spreading all over the fucking planet. That's all over Hawaii, America within a week. Canada was fucking in updated constantly. Everything on the Pacific coastline is fucked permanently. There's enough radiation here. Even if you were to fucking wall off the coastline and put a fucking bubble over the entire country, you couldn't fucking change the amount of contamination you already got. The birds are missing. The anchovies are missing off the coastline. The herrings are missing off the coastline. The sardines are missing off the fucking coastline. The Pacific Ocean itself. The herring, the mackerel. It's all fucking gone. The crustaceans, the krill. The, all the entire fucking food chain is already gone. And you got to fucking hack my computer and kill it and mock me at the same time. And think you're going to fucking demoralize me and knock me fucking off my game. You just put me on my game permanently till ever. I will never fucking give this up now. I will never fucking stop now. I will never, I will never stop coming after you fuckers under any circumstances now. There's nothing you can do to stop me. You gotta kill me to stop me. And I'm telling you, I will have my fucking way with you. You pricks. You cowards. You traitors. You fucking traitor. To your community, your friends, to your loved ones, to everybody that you ever fucking met. You are a fucking traitor. You fucking nuclear industries. Shows effects of plutonium on lung tissues. A single particle will cause cancer. You know, it's just North America, West Coast be the most contaminated by the Fukushima CCM within a few months of the accident. Not 12 fucking years, 10 years. These are all the lawyers. You got to go hunt these fuckers down and get rid of them. Hawaii biologists mystified by millions of unnamed tiny purple creatures. Whatever, die off after die off. No, 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 it's natural, Dana. No, 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 Dana. It's natural to have nothing in the ocean, Dana. It's natural to have nothing on the coastline, Dana. All the pictures of the coastline, Dana, that you put up at the nuclear proctologist, that's natural. Well, no, it's fucking not. I have 14,000 hours underwater as a commercial diver, and I can assure you, 
that the pictures I got and the pictures before Fukushima is two different fucking worlds. We got study after study after study after study pre-Fukushima. Haven't got a single fucking study since Fukushima. Because nobody's going to go out and touch that one. Let's go look at the whales. They're way up the food chain. Let's go look at the tuna. They're way up the fucking food chain. Let's tell them it's like a banana. Let's tell them it's like a fucking potato chip. Till everybody finally cracks and hangs us all in the street. Because that's what's coming. That's what's going to be happening. That's the way you want it. That's the way it's going to be. That's what I'm going to advocate for all the time now. Just fucking hang them. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I don't give a fuck anymore about you people. I want you all gone. And I don't care how we do it. I really don't. Joint pieces of tsunami debris. Oh, yeah. No, I just... Yeah, no radiation made it there, though, Dana. There was a radiation person out there checking, but he never found nothing. I ought to be over here for thousands of years. 50 times the normal levels in Hawaii here after Fukushima disaster. Uranium. Because the reactors run on uranium. Not fucking iodine. Anybody says iodine, you need to find them and punch them in the mouth. Knock every two out of their fucking head. Fuck them. Just fuck it. Just fuck it, man. From here on out. Fuck it. Let's fucking get these cocksuckers. I don't care anymore. They'll kill this computer in another couple of weeks. I don't care anymore. Time to get my fucking steel toe boots out and go stomp these cockers, these cockheads down. Rapidly spreading diseases in the Hawaii coral. New strain of cyber bacteria blamed. Crino bacteria. Fish with lesions. Turtles having problems. Big concern with infections. The humans. Truly an unusual event. Yeah. Nothing to do with Fukushima at all, of course. No, 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 no. Of course not. The government... We paid them, we gave them, that's, that's our employees, the government is our employees. They got to go. They all got to go. That's the only fucking peace we're ever going to have. We got to get rid of these pricks. They got to go. And that's common. We don't have to do fuck all. They already done it to kill the Pacific Ocean. People are going to start waking up in mass over the next few months and they're going to fucking gut these people. They're going to string them up anyway. I'm telling you right now, you can't hide that Pacific Ocean anymore. And you can't fucking stop me. NBC knows. Wait until you see pictures of what we found on the beach in Hawaii. Leading edge, what many fear is an oncoming wave. Many fear. Yeah, I bet you fucking do fear. You should fucking fear. You've been lying for all these years. And you've got it all in print, all in video. Every one of you fuckers are going to pay. Every one of you. Some more than others. Brian Williams. Fuck sakes. Hawaii, Dr. Funny, Rainy and People's Yearn. Because there's 50 times any kind of a dose they seen in the air they were breeding before. These plumes stretch from one end of the fucking ocean to the other end of the ocean after a month. It was an ongoing, constant, endless, perpetual fucking motion machine. It's all over. Might as well take them with us. Japan alerts U.S. and Canada on possible clogging in shoreline, and they sent out, they spent tens of millions of dollars Scooping it up so we wouldn't find it. So people wouldn't see it and wouldn't have those connotations. But you can't get a fucking Geiger counter. Fukushima radiation plume already northern Hawaii as of June 2012. That's that little cocksucker Busler. Right? It should be a big A in front of the A Busler. He's an abuser from Woods Hole. Everything from Woods Hole is fucking inherently evil. And needs to be put down like a rabbit fucking animal. The easternmost detection of 134 cesium within the North Pacific. Blah, 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 blah. Hawaii. The plumes came right across in four fucking days. So every article here is full of lawyers and idiots and morons and dipshits. Highest level of Fukushima contamination in plankton already east of Hawaii. Never at Hawaii for the majority of them, is it? Oh, it's east, it's north, it's south, it's fucking west. Guess what? That's surrounded. Yeah, I'm not fit to talk to today. Fukushima plume to reach the U.S. West Coast in months. It's always there. Cole goes to put the same headline up there. Concern is whether the seafood coming into the state is safe. None of it is. Nothing left in the Pacific Ocean is safe. Whatever is left is highly fucking contaminated. How fucking stupid are you? And, it's, and the reason is because Jay Cullen, you, Vic, Ken Buesler, Woods Hole. Don't blame me. I'm telling you the truth. Right? They're, they're the ones that are out there lying to you. 
They're the ones that can tell you the jet stream and the ocean currents don't fucking exist. And it'll take six or seven fucking years to get here. And the evidence is overwhelming. Over friggin' whelming. Fukushima plume to reach the coast of the U.S. next year. Do they think this fucking thing is a turtle? Do they think that the evaporation of 10,000 miles of rainstorms every day on the ocean is not full of radionucleoids? Do they think that the endless perpetual dispersal into the atmosphere and into the ocean takes forever to come across a fucking ocean? You ever hear of a message in a bottle? Everything comes across the fucking ocean. U.S. and Canada for many decades? Impossible. Impossible. No, because Harvard's not going to go in there. Yale's not going to go in there. Stanford is not going to go in there. Berkeley is not going to go in there. Oxford is not going to go in there. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough yelling. I ain't fucking helping things by doing what I'm doing here. They're winning by me doing that. See, they just won. Day one, we lost. Today. I'll be back tomorrow. I won't be screaming. <coughs> yeah. Well, let's come over and say goodnight. Good day to everybody. Hour one minutes. Who knows how shitty this is going to be for me, but whatever. Um... Uh, I was kidding. Shiny Ken. Lori, Ellie, Just, Rattle Shark, Solar. I'm trying to get into conversation. Wiz kidding. We sent out hugs for Elaine. And Elaine is one of those people who have suffered beyond imagination. And such a strong person. A lot of people would give up in her position, trust me. Yeah, fuck them, Solar. That's right, buddy. A bunch of fucking monsters out there. Chuck, Candace, Ed Nelson, Mitch, Larry, night night, Bob. Yeah, hi, Elaine. Shanikin, 775, folks. Candace, and Rattleshark. Yeah, it's not a stumbling block. It's a it's a step up. They've motivated me. They got if they, I don't think they appreciate what switching me on. There is nothing there to switch me off. And everybody that knows me throughout my entire life knows that little fucking thing about me is you don't switch me on. Because when you switch me on, I'll I'll do what it takes to get you. And right now I'm gonna have to work my entire life now to fucking wreck you. That's what I'll do. All day, every day, no matter what. I won't, I'll never take a fucking day off from here on out now. I want you that bad. I want to finish you and put you to fucking out of your miseries in the nuclear industry that bad. And I guarantee you, I got what it takes to take you down. And I will. You'll see that over the next year. I'm going to fucking take you down. The entire fucking nuclear industry. I know, Elaine. Yeah. Chuck. Laurie. Strontium. L.A. And Philly, yeah. The C&T smokes. Uh, random places in Canada. Ask them, people to order them in for you. Canadian Natural Tobacco, C&T. They don't have 7,000 chemicals. Aloha, Ed. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to give you a whiz today. Whiz Ken. Yeah, I know. Kate. Hi, Kate. Hugs, Kate. Yeah, it's been a tough, been a tough day for me. If I had to seen one of these guys changing their tires on the side of the road, I wouldn't be here making this video today because I would have ran them over and backed up and fucking ran them over and backed up and ran them fucking over and backed up and ran them over again. And drove ahead and ran them fucking over. I, <laughs> yeah, well, they fuck with the wrong one this time. You can't keep killing my computers. Mr. Nuclear Industry, Mrs. Nuclear Industry, you can't keep killing my computers, my equipment, and not expect this to get ugly from here on out, okay? I had it with you. Stay away from me. If I see you out there on the internet fucking attacking me for no reason, with nothing valid again, I'm going to come twice as hard every time. 
the trolls you got out there set up on me right now with all the fabrications that you created, you best get fucking rid of them. All you got to do is enrage me every time I come across it. And I'll find ways to take it out on you. Mark it down, take it to the fucking bank. There's no fucking easy way out of this. Hugs for everybody. Jimmy, Chuck, Bob, Candace, Solar, Ellie, Wiz, Kitten. Good night, everybody. Good day, everybody. I'm just going to go pass out. I'm worn out. But we got streaming again. We'll see you tomorrow. Episode 13. Kill that fucking industry. Kill it now. <laughs> Hugs, everybody. Take care.